Mashima is dropping peak chapters after peak chapters in Eden Zero currently, and there is just no stopping. In the last few chapters alone, Mashima dropped so many different bombshells pushing the story forward that I am highly excited. First we got the entire Mild's arc, where we finally learned the way to get to Mother, drastically expanding on the lore around her. Like, do you remember Red Cave arc, where we learned that the planet was originally a place that travelers would visit in search for Mother? And we also learned in that arc that Ziggy was on said planet alone. Well, planet Mills is also a planet like that, but unlike Red Cave what is just another stepping stone, planet Mills is the final destination where you go to unlock the road and the gates leading to Mother. This alone expands the entire lore around Mother, but was slowly getting built up from the start of the story. And we also learned that Ziggy was on Mills as well, once again alone. So we aren't just learning more about the lore surrounding Mother, but we are also continuing to follow Ziggy's footsteps, getting us closer to learn where did he turn back in his search for Mother. But Mild's arc wasn't just epic because of the lore around Mother and Ziggy, but because it also gave us three things what the Eden Zero fandom and the story of Eden Zero needed. First, we got Old Man Wise in action, finally. And he isn't just as much cool as we expected him to be, but even more. Old Man Wise straight up hard carried the entire arc on his back. And even if he wasn't the main combatant, it was Rebecca, he still assisted the crew through the fight against Joker Helix, and even get us closer to the mystery of Pinos and the Shining Star's missing memories. Like he didn't metaphorically got us closer to Pino's memories, but straight up literally, he gave Pino the flash drive containing all her memories. We've been wondering about the missing memories since the introduction of the Shining Stars. Meanwhile, this old man had it in his pocket all this time. Like this makes me wonder if the thing what Old Man Wise from Universe 1 wanted to tell Rebecca before the Eden Zero ship could the connection between them was actually related to this. There is a really high possibility for that. Old Man Wise also got us closer to Shiki and Rebecca ship. The old man had the guts to straight up ask Shiki if he is Rebecca's boyfriend. Like, <laughs> I'm crying. Rebecca x Shiki shippers are eating so good right now thanks to old man wise. Like the old geezer was already religiously worshipped for some unknown reasons, but this just made him be remembered as a child in the fandom. The last thing what Planet Mills arc gave us, what Eden Zero needed, was Joker Helix. The thing is, most villains and antagonists through the run of Eden Zero were always the biggest scums and discuss most disgusting people imaginable. Like an underworld mafia boss who isn't afraid to shoot you in the middle of a friendship talk. A psychopath, spoiled rich kid with gravity powers. Mueller. Mr. Genocide XX, Milf Hunter XX, and so on. But Joker was so different from all of them that it was just refreshing. Joker Helix wasn't evil for the sake of being evil, she was just a self-aware game engine that went rogue, who had to be put back on the right path. And through the entire arc and the fight against her, she would constantly show us this. She would constantly remind us that she might not actually be evil. All what she wanted to do is play a game, to a point that she even sidelined her main mission just to mess around with Rebecca, just to play more with Rebecca. And the fact that Rebecca realized this during the fight against her and used it to actually defeat her with kindness instead of violence is really refreshing. Joker Helix was just a short-term villain in Eden Zero, yet she was really well written and well executed character compared to her relevance in the story. But the Mashima greatness doesn't stop here. The moment Mashima ended the Mills arc, he straight up throws us into the deep sea, one bombshell after another. 
In fact, these two last chapters aren't even bombshells. They are straight up nukes. First, we straight up entered a fifth cosmos, following the road to Mother. A fifth Mother fucking cosmos. At this time, there were only four cosmoses, making up the Grand Shiki universe. And now you are telling me there is a fifth one. Just this reveal alone makes me so excited about Eden Zero and the new chapters that I just can't describe it. But this isn't the only thing. They strike a pass by a planet roughly 15,000 km in diameter, a planet covered in ice. Do you know what other planet is 15,000 km in diameter and is covered in ice? No? Motherfucking Neptune! They didn't enter a new cosmos, they entered into our own universe. And not just our own universe, they entered into our solar system. Mother is in our universe, our universe is the fifth cosmos. However, this shouldn't be a surprise, since all the relics what lead to Mother and have Mother Eater and been on Mother are regular things found on our planet. And guess what? We call our planet Mother Earth. Do you remember that old ass theory I made more than a year ago about how Mother is actually Earth on overdrive? That theory might actually come true and <laughs> I am really excited. Like, I might even make a whole new theory video about it, revisit the old theory and just adapt it into my new style to be more understandable, because my English and my editing skills drastically increased in the last one year. But this, this alone makes me really excited. We also got a glimpse of the past of the Shining Stars when they were humans. We saw that in the Lendar Dark as well. Apparently they were humans 20,000 years ago in the past. All the mysteries are slowly getting revealed one after another. We are also getting characters closer to each other like Shiki and Rebecca and Weiss and Hermit. Oh okay, yeah, I didn't even mention that. Weiss straight up confessed to our android gremlin. My man confessed his feeling in the most casual way possible. And it, it fits him so well. The power behind his confession was so powerful that it launched Eden Zero into trending. All the worms came out of their cave to feast on this scene, and the combined power of them managed to make Eden Zero trend. <laughs> I'm so excited and hype about the new chapters. <laughs> Mashima is cooking so hard right now with the new chapters one after another. And I just can't stop laughing about all the clones who dropped Eden Zero after Universe Zero saga started. They were so impatient. Mashima was making all this build up, getting us ready for the big thing. We just had to let him cook. And he did cook. Really good, in fact. I mean, they can just stay salty while we are eating. Really good, with Mashima being the head chef of the kitchen. <laughs> anyway. I can't wait for the new chapters, the next chapter, because it is going to be really hype. Subscribe and see you guys in space. Bye.